Good morning pals and welcome to another video. Today's Thursday and it is a blindingly lovely day outside so I may end up going for a walk at some point but I do actually have a lot of work to do so maybe I won't. First thing on our list today, pull your sleeves up because we've got some work to do. First thing on our list is to give these another coat. These are going to be an open closed sign for the Sheffield Cat Shelter charity shops. They've commissioned me to do that on the back of seeing my um, my signs that I've been doing there and on the back of the Feed Our Dave game that I did for their 125th birthday celebrations. So they commissioned me to do some open and closed signs which I'm excited about. I've designed them, the design's been approved, so all I need to do today is do one final coat of white, so I've got a nice even coat, sand it down a little bit as well, draw them, paint them. That's the, that's the big job today because it's going to take time. Um, and in between I have some things to do and show you, but let's just get on with it and start painting the gesso. Or gesso. Okay, so while they're drying, let me show you what came yesterday. So I got a delivery of wooden pins yesterday. Some of them I've already put on their backing cards and some of them need re rebacking, but this is the new pin to my collection. Now I'm a little bit annoyed that this pin came so late in October. It's like the 13th of October now. I ordered these on the, I think about the 13th of September. And the company that I use messed me around so much about the pin backs, the positioning of the pin backs. Anyway, anyway you don't need to know, uh, they're here. So yesterday I quickly put um, these onto their cardboard backers. I made a quick reel for Instagram. I went to the Winter Gardens Sheffield Makers Shop, which is where I staff and they stock some of my stuff. So I put those in there, <sighs> put them on my website last minute, ready for Halloween. Who knows? Who knows if anyone's bought any yet? But they're there. They're ready. And they can always be ready for next Halloween. But also cat lovers might want them anyway. So they're wooden pin badges and they get printed on um, European birch plywood. So it's sustainably sourced and it takes up to 24% less energy to make a wooden pin badge than it does an enamel pin badge, which is why I use wooden pin badges rather than enamel ones. So I've got a little one here as well. This one is a little damaged one. Can you see the, fa <laughs> the face has been smashed in? So I've got a little um, head injury cat. So I've kept that one. That's my little Halloween, nod to Halloween. Um, and the other design I got was a restock. Oh, let me 
to show you how they come. They come like this. Um, so they've been laser cut out of wood. Let me just move that around. They've been laser cut out of wood and they come with this paper on them. The very first time I got these ordered, I thought they have misprinted them. <laughs> so what happens is it's got paper on the front, you see? Just lifted the corner there. So satisfying. You see? So those that are a reorder, I need to put those on their backing cards. They don't need to go on the website. They're already on the website. Again, they're European birch plywood. These ones have got two pin backs. So the problem, let me tell you, story time now. <laughs> the problem I had, um, I was going through the frequently asked questions of this company that I use. And it's, someone had asked a question about two pin backs and I never thought about two pin backs because sometimes I've had problems with them in the past where I used to only get one pin back and I have, I have had problems in the past where they have put the pin at the bottom rather than at the top. So if the pin's at the bottom, um, when you put it on, it will spin round because of the weight. So I just asked, is there any way that I can have two pin backs because your frequently asked questions seem to suggest that you can, and it doesn't say anything about additional costs. So I, I put the, on the proof, I, I set them all up with two pin backs, and I said, if it's not possible with no additional cost, just use the top one. So they emailed me back saying it would be an additional £30 to add a second pin back, which I thought was more money than I needed to spend. So I said, scrap two pins, just put one pin, but put it where the top the top of the two pins that I've put on would be and sent them a picture about where I wanted it. And the proof kept getting sent back and forth, back and forth, and they kept putting the pin in the middle or the bottom. So this is why it took so long to get, to get sent to me. So this is why I didn't have it for my two markets that would have been before Halloween. Um, finally, they sent a proof through that I approved and it was all for nothing because they ended up putting two pin backs on anyway. So why did it take so long? Why didn't you just put two pin backs on anyway? Anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just get some cardboard backers on these. And then by the time we've done that, this stuff should be ready to paint on. So, so I get my pin backers printed separately uh, from a company called Printwork and they print on recycled card as standard and they send out plastic free as well. Um, so that's that. And to put them on their pin backs, on their cardboard backs, I use this big old cork lid. It used to be a lid of a cookie jar, biscuit jar. And all I do is I take the butterfly backers off, push it in, and then put them back on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
So these are the designs that have been approved. Can you see them? One side says open, the other one says closed with the bum hole being the O. Um, they'll be a tiny bit neater. Uh, one's featuring Rolly and one is featuring Dave. So I'm gonna get on and sketch these onto A4 paper because the signs are going to be A4. The signs are gonna be A4. So I'm gonna sketch these designs onto four pieces of A4 paper. Then I can trace them and transfer them onto the signs, which makes it a little bit neater. So let's get on and do that.
cute. Double cute. So I'm pleased with how they've turned out. I'm going to have some lunch. And then after lunch, we're going to get the tracing paper out. We're going to trace a clean image of that. On the other side, we're going to go over in pencil and then we're going to rub that onto the sign base. These things that we painted. Those things that we painted. And then that will leave an impression of the drawing, which we can then draw around in our paint pens. But first, I've got some leftover pizza that we made. Um, I'm going to go and eat that because, you know, you shouldn't ever work on an empty stomach. <laughs> somewhat eclectic lunch, I agree, of leftover pizza and sausage rolls, but that's just how I roll, okay? So here are the tracing paper things. And um, the reason I've done this on this sign is because one open sign is gonna have a cat with a straight line down it and closed eyes. And the other cat is going to have opened eyes and um, this bow shaped mouth. So it'll be slightly different, but then I can use the same template for both things. So what I'm going to do now is draw on the other side in a soft pencil around those lines and then I will transfer it onto the board.
hey pal, it's the next day, so it's Friday today. I didn't get those signs finished yesterday because the light was just so rubbish. Um, I've had to be up early this morning to drop Andy off at work. So I thought I'd just come straight in here and finish the signs. And there we have it. I really like them. I really like how they've turned out and I hope you do too. If you enjoyed this week's video, please do like and subscribe. It really helps me to reach wider audiences by helping me to beat the YouTube algorithm. But until next time, see you later.